Hello folks, you catch me on the bank of Packington Summers Fishery and I'm actually out shooting a magazine feature for Pole Fishing Magazine today. I thought I'd bring the camera along. While I'm shooting a feature with Jake, I might as well show you guys a few tips and maybe a, a few little things, sneak preview of the feature as well. The lake I'm on today is Little Geary's. It's a brilliant venue for this time of year when the temperatures are freezing cold like it is today because this place is absolutely stuffed with F1s and F1s, unlike maybe bigger carp, will have a bit of a chew during the cold. I'm catching quite a few fish in the margins, an area of your swim that I think is really, really neglected in the winter. A lot of people associate margin fishing with summer months catching massive weights of fish, but the margins are somewhere that fish like to come into all year round. And I'm catching quite a few fish today. Let me show you how I'm doing it. So when it comes to margin fishing, obviously in the summer months, I'm looking to find the shallowest water possible. You've probably seen other videos that I've done on my YouTube channel where I'm fishing and you can actually see tails sticking out of the water as I'm, as I'm feeding any bait. It's that water's that shallow. But this time of year, the fish will naturally be in slightly deeper water. The water's a little bit clearer. The fish won't feel safe in really shallow water. So I've plumb up and I've actually found about three and a half feet of water. It's maybe, looking down there, maybe about three meters away from the bank. And quite importantly for me, it's in front of the next peg. So it's a natural area that fish like to visit during the day because obviously when a pleasure angler or match angler fishes at the end of the day, finishes his fishing, that's where he chucks in maybe a little bit of extra bait that he's got left over. So the fish visit that area and find bait there naturally. So the first important thing is find the correct depth. And for me, this time of year, it's at least three foot of water. The rig I'm using, I think is really important too. As I've mentioned, the water is really clear at this time of year. The carp aren't feeding as much. They're not kicking up all the bottom and the, the color is literally dropped out of the water. So a strung out shotting pattern is something that I think is important. The fish can watch that bait fall nice and slow. It gives the fish a little bit longer to inspect the bait. And I think I get more bites as a result of that strung out shotting pattern. So on my rig today, I've got five slot shot. It's a four by 12 float and I've got five slot shot, probably spaced out in the bottom half of the rig. They're number 10 slot shot. And as the, flo as the float sails, I can, see each one's, as I can see each one registering on the bristle, which I think again is really important. I've gone, gone away from the trend of using mega short hook lengths and I'm actually using an eight inch hook length today. That's 010. I've got a size 18 hook on and it's 014 main line. As I mentioned, the float is a four by 12 dusty float with quite a nice fine bristle. That's actually 1.5 mil. Elastic is a orange reactor core, nice and soft. Take your time, make sure you land every fish. Back to the hook length, it's eight inches because Again, I want that slow fall of the hook bait. In that bottom half of the peg, I want my hook bait to be acting as naturally as possible. And I think that is gonna catch me a few bonus fish. Bait wise, we all know how effective ground bait is in the margins. During the summer months, I fill up, fill up that big pot, dump in a big pot after every fish when they're really having it, you know, and you, and you catch loads of fish doing that. Ground bait's still good in the winter time, but you just gotta cut things back a little bit. So. I've got my big pot and all I'm doing is feeding a really dark mix and only putting in a pinch. You know, it's, it, it's an egg cup full of ground bait. That with probably 10 or so maggots is enough to kick, kick start the peg. The ground bait mix I'm using, again, doesn't want to be really oily, doesn't want to be really meaty or really potent. It just have, has to have all the right attractants. So, Nice product plug. I've been using this in the winter time. It ticks all the boxes. Nice, dark mix. I think, again, water's clear. Dark ground bait's ruled when the water's clear. It's got a fish meal content, but it's still really sweet. So I'm catching F1s over it. You know, the clue's in the name, really. Mix it up with plenty of water. Make sure I riddle it so get any big lumps out and I get a really, really fine sweet but fishy mix and you know i'm catching silvers over the top of it as well today nice size skimmers so it's working for everything but other bait that i've got with me today some maggots obviously ground bait and maggot is a fantastic combination i've got some maggots they're slightly lethargic at the minute but actually quite like that it means i can put on some a, a couple of dead maggots maybe could put on a live maggot as well later on 
The other bait that I've got with me is some pinkies. Fluoro pinkies. And I just like these for tipping. Tipping a maggot or three pinkies, four pinkies. A really visual bait can often get you a bite when everything else has failed. So obviously it's winter, the fish are lethargic. We need to adopt a bit of a stealthy approach and think about how we're going to target the fish. Again, going back to summertime, we might be able to catch them on a top kit or five meters down the bank, chucking in bait by hand, feeding big amounts of bait. This time of year, they're definitely backing away from any bankside disturbance. So I've found an area 14 and a half meters down the peg. You know, it might seem a long way away, but that's going to pay dividends. You know, I don't mind holding a pole that long if I know I'm going to get a few bites. And that is going to be my margin swim. I'm going to feed it nice and gently. But something I think is really important, really, really important, is having somewhere to go and rest that area of the swim. The last thing I want to do is go down there and just plunder fish after fish. You might catch two or three fish doing that, but they'll soon drift off. They'll soon have, get the um and they'll just move away. You won't get them back. So... I've got a line straight in front of me in open water and even if I just catch a few silvers off that, off that line it's serving to rest that margin swim so I can feed that margin swim and then maybe go out into open water catch a few fish and by the time I go back to the margin it's probably been rested for 10-15 minutes I know there'll be a fish waiting for me and the trick is not to plunder the peg straight away you know if you can maybe just nick one or two fish during the match during your session and then go back later on in the session, maybe last half an hour, catch three or four in a row, that's the ideal day for me. So it's about a softly, softly approach. Going back to that softly, softly approach, how you present the rig in the water is, is really important too. Lay your rig out in a line, let it drift back, hold it back, make sure it falls on a tight line so it's slowly falling through the water. And that way also, you'll see every indication because your rig is on a tight line. What's not gonna work is just dumping the rig in any old out. Yeah, you might catch one or two fish again doing that, but best way is to gently lower the rig in, hold it on a tight line, let it fall in a nice arc. You'll see every bite, the bait will fall slower, and you'll definitely get more bites as a result. So folks, you've put the time and effort in, you've fed your peg nicely, you've hooked your fish using nice soft elastic, so you'll be able to strike into the fish, let the fish kite out of the peg, it's not wallowing around in the swim, affecting all the others that might be there still feeding. And just gently play the fish. It's not a rush at this time of year. You know, whether you're just going out, pleasure fishing with your mates, fishing a match, there's no rush getting your fish in. Lots of matches, I mean, use this lake as an example. There was a match here yesterday, 11 pound come off this peg, you know, so that's not many fish during the day. You've just got to take your time and make sure every fish ends up in the net. I'm only on a size 18 hook. Really soft elastic. Really gently play your fish. And whereas in the summer months, I might try and have a bit of a stab with the landing net at a, at a fish. This time of year, I really make sure that it's going to go in the net like that one. And there we go. Beautiful F1. We've caught quite a few of these today. Just hooked, barely hooked. Put this down. We've caught quite a few of these today and every one has been in fantastic condition. So there you go, ground bait, maggots, margins, cold water, you can still catch plenty of fish. We've had a fantastic day today. There'll be an article in Pole Fishing Magazine in the new year and it'll cover far more detail. But if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps me out massively and I hope to see you on the bank sometime.